We know that WVU will be changing their offense in 2023, but will that change incorporate the long foregone fullback position back into the offense at West Virginia? Let's go. What's going on, Mountaineer Nation? Jordan Cruz back here with the Country Roads webcast. And before I get into this video, I just want to give you guys a quick reminder, if you would, do us a favor, hit that thumbs up button, give this video a like. It'll really help its performance, which in turn helps future videos' performances here on the channel. And if you're a West Virginia fan and you haven't already, be sure and hit that subscribe button. It helps us and it helps you as it helps get more of this Mountaineer sports content out to Mountaineer Nation. Having said that, Let's get into it. All right, Mountaineer Nation. So as I mentioned in the cold open to the video, we know that West Virginia's offense will be changing a little bit in 2023. I've done a video on this previously discussing this. I'll put a card for it right here into the video if I can remember to do so. But the thing that we haven't really discussed is what having a more run predicated offense could mean for other positions along that offense and some of those being tight end and of course fullback. We haven't seen a fullback at West Virginia during the Neil Brown era. Hasn't even been listed as a position on the roster we've seen tight ends and when West Virginia has used someone in a fullback or H-back type of role it's just been one of those tight ends moving into the backfield or moving in motion in that direction to in effect act as a fullback on said play however West Virginia recently made a signing of a preferred walk-on in Luke Hamilton from Towson that has played fullback extensively at Towson, was an All-American there. Our friend Mountaineer Paul did a great video covering Luke Hamilton long before his signing was made public. He had spoken with him and found out that West Virginia and him were trying to work things out so that he could come over and play for the Mountaineers this upcoming season in 2023. They were able to work it out, and he will be a Mountaineer in 2023. I'm going to link Mountaineer Paul's video in the description down below. Check that out for more info on Luke Hamilton. But let's take a look here uh, briefly at the article from WV Sports Now detailing the signing of Luke Hamilton, which kind of gave me the thesis for this video of the fullback position possibly returning for West Virginia in 2023. And I'll show you guys why I believe this may be the case. Okay, so as you can see, the announcement of Towson transfer fullback Luke Hamilton committing to the Mountaineers coming up a little bit under a week ago. This coming from WVSportsNow.com is where you can find this and find some great coverage on West Virginia sports there. This one written by Mike Oste, and there is the graphic shared by Luke Hamilton when he announced his commitment to the Mountaineers. And the interesting thing about this is he's coming to West Virginia as a preferred walk-on, but he turned down several scholarship offers in order to do so. So he was a highly sought-after player. And like I said, for more information on him and a great wrap-up on him, check out Mountaineer Paul's video that you can find in the, in the description down below. He was a former All-American and a really tough fullback as you see his announcement there on social media and the graphic that he shared if you guys want to read that you can but there's his twitter handle there at luke hamilton 34 if mountaineer nation would like to follow him on twitter so the addition of luke hamilton alone may not be reason enough to believe west virginia would bring back the fullback position just with the addition of one player so let's take a look at the couple other reasons that i believe west virginia may indeed be incorporating a fullback in 2023 all right as you can see on the screen here this was kind of actually the impetus for me to do this video because this surprised me. This kind of was unbeknownst to me, actually. West Virginia already has one fullback listed on their roster here. If you go to the WVUSports.com, the official website for the university there, and check out the football team's roster, you'll find that there is a fullback on the roster in Colin McBee a in-state local product from University High School there. He'll be a redshirt freshman for the Mountaineers this upcoming season. Six foot one, 225. Remember that size because I'm going to share with you guys another screen here in a second that I believe is the third reason I believe West Virginia will be incorporating a fullback this upcoming season. But also just want to show you guys here what I was talking about with the tight ends. But looking here at tight end, you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bodies there at the tight end position for West Virginia. And all of these bodies you'll see are a little bit taller, six, four or above for most of them, and a little bit bigger, mostly 235, 240 and up. And the ones that really get playing time for West Virginia, they like to be around 250, as you can see, Traylon Davis, Victor Wickstrom, and Cole Taylor all around that range. Those are probably the guys that you're going to see West Virginia incorporate the most at that position this season, unless Will Dixon is able to put on a little bit of weight and maybe surprise some people and factor in sooner than believed. But seven tight ends on the roster for West Virginia, and they all have that 
uh, type of body type there, a little bit bit taller and not as much compact, um, you know, smaller body types as you saw with the fullback in Colin McBee, and that's kind of your more traditional fullback type body. So West Virginia has Colin McBee on the roster. We know they're bringing in Luke Hamilton from Towson, also similar frame there and definitely is more predominantly only been a fullback in his career more so than a tight end which then brings me to the third thing here that kind of led me to making this video and I will share that with you guys right now and that is Noah Braham a name I'm sure is familiar to West Virginia fans son of Rich Braham former West Virginia great offensive lineman he of course is another local product as you can see here also from University High School in Morgantown he's listed as an athlete and a lot of people have talked about him possibly playing tight end or linebacker but I think look at the size here 6'2 225 right along that frame that we discussed with the players previously that we've talked about. So in my opinion, I think Noah Braham is going to come to West Virginia and play fullback for the Mountaineers. This is purely speculative on my part, but I think he fits right in there. I think West Virginia has brought in Luke Hamilton to factor in at that position, as well as Noah Braham. And then, of course, Colin will be already on the roster. So I think West Virginia has three fullback type bodies on the roster now to go with the seven tight end types they already have on the roster, just to show you the way the offense may be moving as we head into 2023 with a new look offense for West Virginia that we believe is going to be more run heavy. All right, Mountaineer Nation, to kind of sum it all up, those are just kind of my three reasons that I think West Virginia may indeed be bringing back the fullback in the 2023 offense here for West Virginia. But what are your all's opinion? Do you think that this may be something that will happen? We'll see the fullback position back at West Virginia. We know that we have some tight ends that West Virginia is going to use, but do you think they'll incorporate fullback bodies along with those tight ends? I'm not saying maybe I formation, but I am saying maybe a heavy pistol set. You get two tight ends and a fullback in the backfield to go along with your halfback. I definitely think it's something that we could see for West Virginia in 2023. Maybe even the return of that diamond formation that we haven't seen in quite some time at West Virginia. Who knows? But what I think we're going to see a lot of is heavy pistol sets, uh, 12 personnel, 22 personnel for the Mountaineers, and maybe even 13 personnel at times. Who knows? I think you're going to see heavy pistol sets. It's still going to mainly be from the gun, but I think you're going to see a lot of pistol, a lot of shotgun with heavy personnel for West Virginia where they're going to incorporate a lot of read option and triple option looks into RPO packages in which they still use air raid concepts for the route trees of the Mountaineer wide receivers. Just my opinion. We'll see what happens moving forward. This may not come to fruition, but just reading the tea leaves here a little bit, I thought it was interesting enough topic to make a video about, but would love to know your all's opinions on the fullback position possibly returning to the West Virginia offense in 2023. Would you like to see it? Do you think it'll happen? And however you're feeling there, be sure and let us know down in the comments. We really appreciate the interactions as we continue to try and grow the Country Roads webcast community throughout Mountaineer Nation. Having said that, as always, I'm Jordan Cruz, and until next time, let's go Mountaineers. <laughs>